Hi guys. I'm back. Today I've created a tractor out of Legos. Here it is. It may look a little uh, wonky because all the electrical parts on it need to have space like this. And since they need space and the wires are in the way of these tires, I had to put the tires lower than they're supposed to be. So it it does uh it starts it has an engine in it. This is the hood. Let me just open this. There's the engine. Here are the wires for the headlights that lead up to here. And that is the engine right there. Right in front of it is the radiator right there. And I'm gonna start it and I'm gonna turn on the headlights. All right. Um, starting. Here we go. It has now officially started. You can see the radiator is moving. And now for the headlights. There goes the headlights. It doesn't move, sadly. Um, I wasn't expecting it to move either. I didn't really want it to move. Um, I just wanted it to sit with the engine on and stuff and, you know, look cool. Yeah, it's not really made to move. Um, real reason why is because if I start the engine, the whole vehicle moves with the while the engine is moving. I kind of don't want that. Um, nor do I have a way to stop it from moving with the engine on it. Because if I just stop the tires, the engine will just bust pieces or something will break or something. So I'll just leave it like this. It's actually pretty cool. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this uh, really quick video of my tractor. Um, Alright, well, have a good day. 
Um, wait, wait, psych. I am not ending the video here until I explain how the engine moves. Now, you may be thinking, you may be thinking, um, well, oh, I don't know. Uh, um, you may be thinking, um, how does the engine move? How does the crankshaft turn over? Well, if you're wondering, behind the motor that is against the wall, there is a hole, like right up in here. And inside of there, if you look right there, uh, you cannot see it. I can, right in there, there is a motor. Not this motor, I mean the electrical motor that turns things, you know. You know. Um, it is up behind the engine. And it's, there's like a wall like this, such like this, and then the, it's like, it's like that, kind of like that. Yeah, it's just something like that, sure. Um, edge of the wall is right there, that is the axle, and connected to the back of the axle is the motor. The wall, and then right here is the engine. Right here is the engine. That's kind of, yeah. So every time the motor, the motor, this motor turns, the engine turns, but they're not directly attached. See that, uh, right here, see where that little hole is right there? That is the other side of the crankshaft. So like somewhere in here is the, um, is the motor. Um, it has, it has, um, where is it? Yeah, it has, um, it has a, a, a big, a big gear right here and a little gear right on top of it. So, something like this, sure. Yeah, hang on. Having technical difficulties. Yeah, it's like, all right, pretend this is the little gear and this is the big gear. There you go, that's that's what's happening. The motor is attached to the little gear, which makes it spin faster. It is a four cylinder engine, that's it. The other parts are in that box over there of the engine. I can show you what the pistons look like if you wanna see them. For the people who want to see them, this is what they look like. Little, yeah, these. Focus, focus. It's not focusing. Eh, right there is good. See? And also there's the heads as you can as you can see and the rest of the pistons are in there. So yeah. Um yeah. This is this is what the big gear this is what the big gear is. Little gears on top of it. So yeah. And also, if you couldn't tell, right here is the exhaust. That little pole thingy. That's the exhaust. It This this area looks weird, most of all, because it has a little windshield with a little guy on top of it. Um, I just put that there for decoration. Um, it's supposed to be like a wall right here, and then like a seat, a, a bigger seat right there, so. I didn't really care. Yeah. Yeah. That's her.